A dinner invitation. And with whom are you dining this evening? Maxwell Roth. The leader of the Blighters? You're not going. Of course not. Better check the back. I'm here to see Mr. Roth. Weapons? No, thank you. I've got my own. You should be on the stage, sir. This way. Has arrived. Come, sit. I've had my eye on you for some time. I find your heroics in battle in the great Crawford Steric quite magnificent. I've been picking off your soldiers one by one. Doesn't that make you angry? On the contrary, surprise is a spice of life. Now, Mr. Steric, that's a different story. I'm drowning in directives, all terribly pouring. Let's say we work together and bring him down. <sighs> I'm not so sure about that. My friend, if I fail to provide you with the chance to cause Steric some pain, well, you can charge into this theater and kill me yourself. What do you get out of all this? 
the chance to have a little fun with the bravest man in London. <sighs> you have a deal. <laughs> Lewis, my carriage. Shall we? <laughs> this way. <laughs> well, you don't expect me to go alone, do you? Keep moving. Take the reins. Driver, to St. Pancras, and don't spare the horses. I thought you and Starrick would be fighting for the same ends. What happened? Ah, uh, you know, he required my services to train his gang leaders, but the man is dreadful. You don't say. Freedom, Jake. Stealing that is far more than a sin. It denies us our humanity. Right you are. And St. Pancras will ease our suffering? The station contains a large shipment of explosives to be dispatched to Starrick and Co. And you intend to steal it? What? No. I intend to blow it up. Yes, this will do nicely. There's a train parked inside St. Pancras. Then I'm to do away with Starrick's merchandise, leaving chaos in my wake? Why not, Jacob? Why not? As we speak, the up train is headed towards us. That may help you enter the station unseen. As long as it remains on the tracks. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. I shall make certain any reinforcements from Steric are kept away from the station.
Someday, you blighters will understand that I'm doing this for your own good. Two down. Be ashamed to stop now. somebody to drive this metal. Hush now, please. Do be quiet, sir. No need to make a fuss. What do you want from me? I just need you to keep the engine stoked. All right, I'll help you. Don't hurt me. Think of me as another passenger. I just happen to have a rather large blade pointed at your back. Created too much noise. I'll need to keep a low profile. Get your bleeding hands off me! What do you think you're up to? Hush now, please. Do be quiet, sir. No need to make a fuss. 
Would you be so kind as to get it some steam? will be on his knees in no time. My hat is off to you. Apologies, I must run. Do come see me again. Perfect second out in forests. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. Three of Starrick's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh, you sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go, Lewis! Hysteric have built their own prisons. It's a dreadful waste. They could be building gangs instead. No, no. Why build when you can ebb and flow like the sea? I would not aim to pin them down. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? What about your bird? It's not building. I dare say I shall never tire of the National Gallery. Why does Starrick interest himself with art? He's hired a fiendishly... Bring your carriage around and wait for the cargo. I shan't be very long. Someone around here must know Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I'm looking for Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I ain't seen her. I knows what she's been up to, though. And what's that? Friggin' art, sir. She finished a statue not far from here. The statue must be around here somewhere. that statue. Hey, Smalley. Know anything about what happened here? I saw he painted it, sir. Miss Cadwallader? She holds down the sewers, sir. Of course it's sewers.
Why the bloody sewers? Delivery's on its way. And tell him too that I've grown tired of these working conditions. Wasn't Starrick who sent me? Then who? Maxwell Roth sends his regards. What a pleasant surprise. You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick, Roth. <gasps> You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick, Roth. Why the Alhambra? I look forward to it. Every good criminal needs a place to invest his ill-gotten gains. And what's better than distracting the world with a little light entertainment while you do so? Oh, come now. You can't tell me you don't enjoy the triumph of a well-received play. The plaudits and praise, the reviews. I enjoy being entertained, Jacob. Ah, the dwelling place of Starrick's head of security, one Benjamin Raffles. Those who cross him tend to disappear without warning. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Be careful. His guards are never far away. Shouldn't have to go hungry because your temper got the better of you. That's a lie! 
last mistake you <laughs> What's that? What? Who is this Lyris that works for you? Ha! A bit of an odd fish, isn't he? Came to me a few years past. He's very solemn. But always so polite. And he has many other talents. Who am I looking for? Chester Swineborn. A copper by day and snitch by night. Remove him from the pack, and you cut Starek's ties to the police force. <laughs> Must be good at what he does to keep the charade going for so long. He is indeed, dear boy. Flesh. Welcome to Scotland Yard.
own the street. No respect for other people. I own the street. That's it, mate. I'm going to be low faced rock. Next time, I'll be the cellar till it's time for the grave. I'm not letting him out of the oh, God. Oh. Hey. Huh? What? Uh. No, no, Swineborn. Let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do. Something needs sorting over there. Come find me at the Alhambra. I have more amusements planned for us. <laughs> <laughs> 